So Italy win. They get the job done. 21-22. They go absolutely crazy at the end. It's been so long in the waiting. I mean, they were solid. They hung on in there, got some penalties at the beginning, built towards it and got in the position where they could win. Wales, well, it was distinctly average for a lot of it, quite poor for some of it, but it looked like there was enough moments of quality for them to win. And indeed, at the end, they were chasing the bonus point win. But because there was only one score in it, it took one moment of absolute genius from Capuso to run around half the Welsh team, set up a try to get close enough to the posts to get the win. Carbizzi collapses in tears. Great scenes, brilliant for Italy, um, a disappointing end for Wales for sure. They'll look back and say that sort of performance isn't going to get them anywhere. And I think there are some question marks to be had on selection, for example. In my selection video, I did comment how it looked like Pivac had chucked some names up in the air and seen who had landed. Even so, I thought it would be good enough to win and it probably should have been. And some of those questionable selections did prove to be that just questionable. Dare I say Alan Wynne jones was OK, but was there any point in playing him? Did he play better than uh, maybe Roland would have or Seb Davis would have if they were in the second row? No, I don't think so. It looked like a guy who it was his first game back. Um, starting Gareth Davis over Hardy, very strange. Uh, they wanted to get Tompkins on super quick. Surely he wasn't fully fit or he would have started. So definitely some question marks for the coaches. But Wales, the handling wasn't up to it. Even then, they still had enough moments of quality to win it and to let that try in at the end. They'll be devastated. Anyway, let me just roll through this game here because that is the headline, really, the Italy win. And Italy start fairly smart, some good, clever tactical kicks, pushing Wales back, and they did slow the game down at times. And also their defence was, wasn't too aggressive in the ruck, but it was aggressive in the tackle. They fanned out and basically tried to stop Wales going around them, which largely they did. Anyway, big defensive sets, pushing Wales back. You know, at the start, it's actually quite a low error game to start with. That changes a bit, but fairly average from both sides. And, you know, the crowd's quiet and that's the way Italy would like it anyway. Uh, but they do get the first penalty. Um, Italy, Brex, with a really good first clean break of the game. He's a decent player, some good tackles as well. Knock a penalty, get a deserved lead. Wales trying to get their attack going, but a bit too desperate as they were in a lot of the game with their passing. Get another good penalty jackal for Italy, so that is 6-0. Padovani showing he's got plenty of range in his goal kicking, so that's good news there. Now, then we get some really bad rucking off kickoff from Italy. Puts them in a big period of pressure for sure. Plenty of penalties, repeated line-out mauls. Good defensive drives from Italy. There is some space out wide, but a terrible pass from McNichol uh, mucks it up. And that's another one of those poor selections, really. McNichol compared to Liam Williams. Well, Liam Williams is quite a clearly a cut above. So it's another really weird selection if Wales were going for the win because they could have pushed up to third. So more and more selections that are slightly poorer than what could have been. So a little bit weird to work out what Pivac was trying to do there. Then on 21 minutes, we do see Lewis Rezamit's pace and with the ball in hand, he's definitely dangerous. Apart from that, probably not particularly special, but he is dangerous. One on one, um, he beats the defensive drift, forces the penalty, but a poor pass again from Wales, butchers another try opportunity. Um, tap and go, but they don't tap it. So, you know, that's another bit of poor play from Wales. They certainly had chances here. They had some good possession, uh, but couldn't convert enough. Um, and Wales, yeah, they're pretty sloppy in that danger zone, I would say. A bit of a funny moment, Alan Wynne-Jones um, is apparently offside, I couldn't see it, but the ref is almost apologetic in giving um, the penalty. I don't know if that's because he didn't think it was one or because it was Alan Wynne-Jones. Either way, I found it funny. But then, after being fairly average for the first 26 minutes, Wales get their first bit of quality play. Big transition attack, more intense and pace in the phases. An Italian prop makes a bad decision and doubles up on a tackle, leaves a huge gap for Wapkin with a nice finish. So Wales go in front 7-6. And it does look like if Wales can get some pace and go forward in their phases, the tries are there for, the, for taking, but they just couldn't do that enough. Italy, on the other hand, have plenty of possession, but they're not looking as threatening. They're looking OK. They're going through the phases. They're putting in some decent kicks, but they're not looking like scoring at this point. 
But then it takes a bit of individual brilliance from Garbisi. He was really good this game, absolutely, as was the Italian back three. I think they were the difference. Amazing up and under, big chase and regather, all individual, wins the penalty, um, and he knocks it over, I believe. So he takes the lead back 7-9. And indeed, they get another penalty. Lovely Jackal Nicotera. Padovani rolls up for another long ranger. Lovely kick, 7-12. So they're chipping away at it. They're not looking like scoring, but they're getting the points on the board, taking advantage of the poor Welsh play. Then just before half-time, another piece of individual brilliance from Italy. It's Ioani this time, sighs through on the counter-attack. He had a great game, probably my man of the match, actually. It takes Italy one metre short, but they get pushed into touch. And they do get a five-metre scrum. Cross-kick causes chaos, penalty advantage, but they muck up them all. So that was a big chance for Italy. But I think a deserved lead at half-time, 7-12. Italy are the best side, if not looking like scoring a try. Wales are very much below average, but it does look like if they get it right in attack, the tries are there. Into the second half, Wales are desperate to get pace into the attack. But individual tackling from Italy is good. Brex again, he's looking really good. And Navidi rescues Wales after a good turnover. And a couple of times in this second half, I'm writing, it's a cliche, I know, but the next score is vital. It was that close on the scoreboard that really the next score was always vital. Yuani, another clever chip and regather, looks like he's in, but this was a top tackle from Adams, who lines him up, has the pace to haul him into touch. That was close. Italy, again, could have scored there, so both sides having chances of scoring for sure. And Wales, interestingly, changed Tompkins in quickly. It does say to me that they probably would have started him if he was 100%. Italy's defence continues to defend well one-on-one, -on -one, and it's pretty clear they're fanning out. They're not overly committing to the ruck. They're just trying to keep Wales at bay and doing it pretty nicely. But then Wales get another breakthrough. Big scrum penalty. Not taking the points, because, yeah, if they're going to jump to third, they need the tries. I understand that, even though the game's close. Five metre more, late uh, breaks off. Good powerful burst. Try. 14-12. They just kept the conversion off the post to sneak ahead there. Now, the big question now is, will Italy fade as they have done in other matches, or can they come back in and get the next score? Because it's pretty close. Then we get the first piece of magic from Capuso and Iwani. They turn disaster into a length of the pitch counter-attack. Those two were so good this game, and even win the penalty to go back ahead. So heroic stuff there for those two. 14-15. The game's really messy, the next score is important, blah, blah, blah. Alan Wynne jones goes off, like I said, he's been okay, but no real benefit to the team uh, compared to, uh, like, Rowlands, for example, starting. Biggest force to go to 15, which is definitely not ideal. Things are just starting to fall apart for Wales a bit here. Multiple errors are killing themselves. Padovani has a chance to stretch the lead, but skews it wide. Uh, it was from a long way out. And Italy are just hanging on in there. One-on-one -on -one tackle, slowing the game down, knocking the big, big kicks down. Gareth Davis makes a bad error, which pushes Italy further into the Welsh 22. But then, one of the few moments of quality again from Wales on 68 minutes, go through some good phases, some big carries from the forwards this time. Much better. Get the Italians going backwards. They look to run out a bit of shape, but then Adams, individual brilliance, size through, gets the try, 19-15, do Italy have anything left? It looks like they're pretty leggy at this point, and it's Wales who are the favourites to probably push on and get the bonus point. Now, to me, at this point, it looks like Wales are energised. Moriarty's on, really causing havoc. It looks like they're going to push on. Interestingly, a try for Wales gets the bonus point and potentially pushes them up to third. A try to Italy could get that long sought-after win, so all the possibilities are on. Who's going to get the breakthrough? But then a penalty and a moment of back chat puts Italy in a very unexpected match-winning position. You know, a good line-out attack, but Rowlands nicks the line-out, looks to save the day there. Looks like Italy aren't going to score, but then, holy cow, what a run from Capazzo. Runs around half the Welsh team, in and out on, I think it's Hardy, let me know if it was someone else. Inside ball to Padovani, which is important because they need to get close to the posts, because they need the conversion to win. Garbisi, you can just look on his face, he just wants this game over, he wants that win so bad, knocks it over easy, collapses on the ground, Italy win, 21-22, 
it was all about the result for Italy. It wasn't actually an amazing international performance for Italy, but they hung tough. They got their points. They stayed in the fight. And then one moment of absolute brilliance wins it. Wales have only got themselves to blame, even though they did score some decent tries for the majority of the game. Simply not good enough at this level. They're not going to challenge at the World Cup with that sort of performance. I'm sure they'll get better, but they have to look at themselves first. Handling wasn't good enough. Too many errors and some poor selection, I think, as well. To get those comments below on that famous Italy win and also what you made of Wales. But what a great start to Super Saturday.